let's talk some sh Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Amaya. So today's video is going to be all about disappointing products. Womp, womp, womp. You know, we have to talk about what we don't like as much as what we do like. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have, I think, like 11 products here that I really did not like and I did not find worked quite at all and I would like to let you know about them and why I don't like them. And usually, like, there's disclaimers in these type of videos that say, if you don't like it, you know, it's just my opinion, blah, blah, blah. No. <laughs> we are not doing that here because we are all adults and mature people. And if you can't understand that someone's opinion does not necessarily mean it's truth, then I don't want you on my channel. Bye. So let's cut the crap and move into the crap. <laughs> crappy products that is so before we do so please be sure to check out my instagram and twitter leave a hate comment if you like <laughs> you can check them out if you'd like no pressure whatsoever all my other social medias will be in the description box below so yeah let's talk some crap first of all let's talk about something two things actually here that just literally have no pigment to them whatsoever so they're these two stick products and you guys know that i love cream products so much i love cream bronzers cream highlighters they're some of my favorites and i just feel like they're really on trend right now and i just really like how they look so when i got these two products i think in subscription boxes i was really excited the first one is this O natural cream multi-stick in the shade grapefruit the packaging feels so nice it's kind of like the smooth matte i don't have very many blush sticks and a lot of them that i've tried have not been that great so this one i was really excited for until you can see that i just rubbed that up and down on my hand several times to even get any sort of pigment um but you know even then i'm like okay that's a pretty color right when you put this on your cheeks it looks like you didn't just put it on your cheeks. I don't know. <laughs> there is literally no pigment to this and I was so sad. It's also very like stiff and hard. So you can't even like get some on your finger and then pat it into the skin because it literally just like disappears. It just, I don't know, it feels just very dry and hard and waxy and not like creamy and beautiful like you want a blush stick to be so yeah not a fan of that one at all and this one as well this is from laritzi cosmetics in the shade halo and i was so excited to get this because i love the shade of it it seems so beautiful until again like there's barely barely any shine to this i mean do you guys, it's right over here. I mean, do you guys even really see that? The shine on here is so slight. And I don't even mind if this doesn't have a lot of pigment because it's a highlighter. So sometimes it's nice when they have less pigment, but they're just very shiny and reflective and glossy. But this is neither. It's neither glossy, nor pigmented, nor shiny, nor reflective. It's literally just a stick with a little bit of a satin sheen to it. And that's about it. Where is it? I don't know. Can you find it? Let me know. Okay, so you guys ever see a product and you're just like, how? How did that get past a board of people and testing? Like, how is this even on the market? Uh, yeah, that's honestly how I feel about a lot of these. But especially this product, this is the Pure Skin Reflecting Powder in the shade Afterglow. It was kind of, seemed to me, almost advertised as like a luminous powder that you kind of put on your skin but not like a true highlighter like what i'm wearing today more like kind of like the um ambient lighting powders from hourglass they're kind of like a multitasking powder in that way i open this up and i'm like okay like that's cool that's not a bad color and then i start to swatch it and it's doing that weird thing where it like balls up because it's like chunky on the product it's the strangest yellow color very similar to actually like the la Ritzy, um highlighter stick but in powder form and the powder is so thick and chunky and it just looks so heavy on the skin it really accentuates like every pore every line every little bit of texture and i feel like it's not intense enough to be a highlighter but also it's too highlighty to be a face powder and i'm just really confused i tried to use this like dusting it just on my cheek area and it looked so bad i tried it on my sister who's 14 and it made her have pores and wrinkles and she's freaking 14 years old so how this would look on someone who's like 30 40 50 not good so honestly this is just one of those products that i'm like what are you and why do you exist 
Okay, there's honestly a lot of highlighting and sparkly products in here because I love them so much and I'm always on the quest to find something that's newer, greater, bigger, better. Like just something that is going to exceed all of my wildest dreams. And this one especially is not it. I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but this is the Tarte Tartist Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter and it's in the shade Exposed. This is... Uh, this is <laughs> something else, man. Okay, so comes out, looks really pretty. Start to blend it out, feels super smooth. Looks not too bad until you continue blending it out and you realize, oh, <laughs> you're a bunch of glitter. This is the thickest, grossest, sparkliest. This does not work as a highlighter, does not work underneath makeup. It dries down so fast, like it is dry on my finger and it is so hard to get off once it's dried down. Like I am going to have to scrub to get this thing off later. It looks like someone just did like the highlighter challenge from like 2016 on your face. That's how bad it is. It is not good at all. And like I'm all for a very intense liquid highlighter. I love that. But this is not even intense. So save your money, go for something from Wet n Wild. I'm trying out the jelly highlighters from e.l.f. and Wet n Wild right now and those so far so good on those. So there's so many other options other than this guy and I think they have a few other shades but I just wouldn't bother you guys. I mean, no. All right, so more shiny things. Um, you guys know that I love the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit eyeshadows. They are some of my favorites. I love Shells and Whistles. I love Cashmere Love, Goldilocks. Those are some of my favorite shades. They're just so beautiful and I recommend them to everybody. However, this shade shocked me because it was so not what I was expecting. This is a Liquid Catsuit from the Gothographic Collection in the shade Pure Intention. I looked everywhere for this bad boy. <laughs> And I finally found it at Ulta and I was so excited I picked it up. People had been talking about, you know, how great this was. And I think I must have gotten like not the same one as everybody else because like you can even see it's almost like separating in the tube here. I don't even know, but it like separates when you pull the little doe foot out, which, okay, whatever. It's kind of sheer. I can dig it. And when you swatch it, you can see it doesn't have the best pigmentation, but it's also not terrible. But on the eyes... This just separates. It is a separatey, glittery, not pigmented mess. It is, <laughs> it's not good. And like I said, I'm all for like something like a sheer wash all over the eyes, but this literally just separates whatever eyeshadow you have underneath it. And even if you use it alone, you can't see it because it blends out to like nothing, just like a little bit of glitter. This would be beautiful in like a pressed eyeshadow, like this color. It reminds me of Lady Bird from ColourPop, which I just mentioned in my top 10 favorite ColourPop eyeshadows. But in a liquid version, it just does not work. It does not look good. I mean, I love this formula, but just not this color. I don't know why. For some reason, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't even feel close to as beautiful and creamy and smooth as our other ones. So pass on this guy. I don't even think this is available anymore, but yeah, uh, for those of you that didn't get this and were really disappointed, don't be. Another Wet n Wild product, which is so weird because I love Wet n Wild and I buy so much stuff from them. These are really like the only two duds that I can really think of. Um, and this one's not even really a dud because I like this product, just not this shade. Um, it's the Color Icon Baked Blush in Don't Flutter Yourself. This is from their Hummingbird Collection, which is not available anymore as far as I know. Maybe on their website, but nowhere in stores that I know of. Um, and I have the other one in Hummingbird Hype, which I absolutely love. I use it all the time in the summer. It just is a beautiful glow, kind of like a NARS orgasm type of thing, but more toned down. Um, and this one I got on recommendation from Andrea Madalano, I think. I think so. There was a couple people talking about this. And I loved Hummingbird Hype so much that I was like, let me try out this one. And the thing about this one is I don't know what it is because on me when i put it on my cheeks it doesn't show up there it is right there it's a very very light pink shade but it's almost kind of like frosty so it's too pink to be a highlighter on me but it's not dark enough to be a blush and i've tried it over top of blushes and it really doesn't do much i don't know it's just a very weird shade it doesn't really work on my skin tone maybe on someone who's very fair i just thought it would be a nice blush topper but even over top of darker blushes it just doesn't look right it doesn't look like really much at all just kind of like a shine and i don't really want that so love this just not the shade of it we have a product here that might surprise some of you guys 
um, and it honestly surprised me and this is probably like the most disappointing thing out of all of the products that I'm sharing today. This is the Wonder Brow. So Wonder Brow, this is in black brown. I think this product is meant for someone who has a nice shape to their brows already, not someone who needs to shape their brows. And the reason why I was excited to get this is because I thought I could use it like almost a pomade and draw on my brows and they would stay for a really long time. But that's not the case. Um, I mean, you guys have probably seen this. It has like almost like a brush tip, like a lip gloss applicator. And it's very pigmented, like very pigmented, but also separates at the same time. It's not opaque. That's what I'm looking for. It's pigmented, but it's not opaque. Does that make sense? I thought I was going to be able to kind of draw on my brows with this and have them stay all day, be very waterproof and all that sorts of stuff like it claims to be. Whereas I think this is better as just an eyebrow gel for someone who already has the shape of their brows, but just needs something to kind of fill it in. So disappointing for me because I spent money on this and I was really excited to use it and honestly I like my Maybelline and elf brow gels so much better and then I use an LA girl brow pencil and I love my brows I was really sad I was so excited to use it it just didn't end up working out for what I thought it would work out for that makes sense speaking of things that didn't work out the way that they're supposed to um, I have a pair of lashes here so these are the little black dress lashes from kiss lash couture collection and these are were like my absolute favorite lashes when I first tried them out and then I rebought them and I bought them I think at like I don't know like some sort of like not discount store but I bought them at like a Walmart or something like that not Ulta and they were not the same they were so short like they were shorter than my natural lashes and I was like okay what the heck like there must be two separate batches here because these were not like how I remember so then I recently repurchased these at Ulta couple months ago and I was like okay like these look a little bit better but then I put them on my eyes and it's the same thing they're so short and small like I don't even know if you guys can see that but they are so tiny especially for lashes and when you put these on you literally cannot tell that you are wearing lashes and I remember everybody loving these lashes and I loved them but I don't remember them looking like this they're very like straight across cut they don't look very natural in like the sense that they don't look very fluttery and wispy and beautiful like I remember them looking so I don't know if they like changed the way that they make these but these are not how I remember them at all like I remember them being stunning and I mean loving them and them looking very high-end and beautiful but like not like this I don't know but these are these are not it lastly we have some lip products here um, the first one is just something that like I should have seen coming this is the Klee Cosmetics Melting Lip Powder, Long Lasting Matte Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Desert Rose. And these were a big thing for a while, like a year ago, or even more, I don't even remember, it was a while ago. But it's like where it's a lip powder, and then you're supposed to like put them on your skin or lips, and they're supposed to like melt into like a liquid with like the warmth of your skin, and they're supposed to be really matte and long wearing. And it looks really pretty when you swatch it. And it feels almost like a lipstick type of feel, like a very um, matte lipstick. But this is so drying on the lips. Like, it's insane. Beautiful color. Feels actually really nice when I'm touching it right here. But on the lips, it is like the Sahara Desert. Like, you're trying to rub your lips together and you're like... Ugh! And it just dries out your lips. Does not look good or flattering at all. Yeah, this one, not now. Okay, next we have another very, very drying liquid lipstick. This is from e.l.f. and this is their Modern Metals lipstick. But I thought the Modern Metals collection looked really pretty and I wanted to try out an e.l.f. liquid lipstick. And this one actually had good reviews as opposed to their other liquid lipsticks, which I knew were kind of drying. But this one had like better reviews and people said the formula was a little bit different. I thought the packaging was really pretty, so I decided to try this out. It's kind of like very similar to Kathleen Light's and Ofra's Miami Fever. So like a very, very pretty color. Definitely like a nice fall or like late summer color. Very pretty. But it is so drying. Oh my God. I wore this to school one day and I had to take it off like after my first class because it was so drying on the lips. It was cracking, crumbling. And I don't put a lot on when I do liquid lipsticks. I try to do a nice thin layer, but it looked like I had like 12 layers of this on and it was just like falling off it was so uncomfortable and tight not good at all which sucked because the color is beautiful the opacity is beautiful the applicator is beautiful the packaging is beautiful like everything about this is beautiful except for the formula it was just too drying and just oh it did not look good on the lips like I don't mind if a liquid lipstick feels drying as long as it looks nice but it didn't even look nice like it just looked so bad so 
yeah, stay away from that one. And then the last, last product in this little hate fest here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. So I was so excited when these came out, I think like two years ago now, um, because I loved the, what was it, Infor Infallible Matte Gloss. Like I really liked those, those were really cool and those were really popular for a while. So when they came out with the actual liquid lipsticks, this was in the shade Nudist by the way, I was very excited because they looked really nice. I love the applicator on these, really pretty, this shade, gorgeous like kind of like a brownish nude but these are so <laughs> sticky and drying oh my god like you will put this on your lips and your lips are like Ugh. it's matte but it like is sticky like your lips will literally like stick together and peel apart like it is not good at all which is funny because the chocolate version of these the list chocolate or whatever version that they have of these work actually really nicely. They're definitely more like a, almost like a satin formula. They smell delicious, they're awesome. But the original just pro matte liquid lipsticks, mm -mm. All right, so that's it. We are done hating on products for today, just for today though, of course. If you have ways that I can use these products or you wanna share your experiences with them, please leave them in the comments below as well as some other crap products that you don't like. Let's make this a nice big um, crap throwing party. <laughs> shade throwing party I don't know I can't word today um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye Delicious.